for the wonderful and inspirational State of the Nation address after being elected. Mr. Speaker, you have to appreciate that uh, Dr. William Ruta underwent so many challenges. As I speak to you, courtesy of his support, there is no police station I have never slept in this city. There is no police station I have never sit, sleep in outside. Mr. Speaker, I am one of the happiest senators. There was a time, Mr. Speaker, and you know I want to advise my colleagues. You know when your profession is heckling, it is important sometimes to do it outside there. Mr. Senator Speaker. Changai, just address the chair and make your contribution. My apologies, uh, my apologies, Mr. Senator Speaker. Senator Mombasa, <laughs> acquaint yourself with standing order and 8-4. I think that is the first standing order that will see some of us being asked to leave the chamber. Please acquaint yourself accordingly. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My apologies to the chair. Mr. Speaker, I, I, I almost cried. But where I come from, crying as a man is abroad. But I, 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 I got carried away because looking at where we have come from, from the intimidation and the, the whipping of some of us who are in House leadership in the last Senate, Mr. Speaker, from being arrested, intimidated, and being blackmailed. There are many people who lost their property. There are many people who uh, receive fabricated cases, including our former colleagues like Senator Mithika Lunturi, who is the CS nominee of Agriculture, Mr. Speaker. I remember, may his soul rest in eternal peace, Senator Haji, who was then the chair of national security, where we called the IG and head of security agencies to appear before the Senate because of intimidation and blackmail, Mr. Speaker. So I am happy and I want to thank the great people of Kenya for remembering the son of nobody, a peasant, a chicken seller to the highest office. It is inspirational, Mr. Speaker, to the guests that are on the gallery that you don't need to be a son of a chief as a daughter of a senator to, uh, to rise to the highest office in the land, Mr. Speaker. I hope it will inspire these young people across the country, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, two issues that I want to mention, and uh, Mr. Speaker, and the President has confirmed this, he will not rule through the iron fist of intimidating, blackmailing, promoting Kamata Kamata Fridays, or creating fabrications of the former DCI, who was more of an uh, actor and creator of uh, some funny movies that are only famous in Netflix and other uh, channels, Mr. Speaker. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, as I congratulate the President, there are many, I have heard members of the opposition, Mr. Speaker, saying this was the shortest uh, address, Mr. Speaker. You know very well, Mr. Speaker, this was like, uh, with all due respect, like a woman's cut long enough to, to cover the essentials and short enough to arouse curiosity so that Kenyans can understand the inspiration that the President was providing, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it is of note that I want to bring to the attention, Mr. Speaker, a few salient features of the speech of His Excellency the President. Mr. Speaker, one is on the issue of water. I know more than 23 million Kenyans across a number of counties, Mr. Speaker, are facing drought and famine, Mr. Speaker. I agree that the provision of water should be a priority. Even in my own country,